the biggest thing that blended learning did for me was it allowed me to spend a lot more time with students. So when I started this class, there were 48 students in the class, and just that's a lot of people to try and connect with. By moving the lecture time out of class, that freed up an extra hour each class, you know, and our time with each student just went up. We were able to spend 12 minutes with each student. Uh, there's me and two TAs in my class. So being able to spend more face-to-face -face time was was a huge benefit from that. And you know, not too long ago, I was a student myself, and I. You know, I really appreciated the instructors who use my time wisely. And blended learning is really a great way to be able to um, to use time effectively. You know, I'm as a teacher, I'm not really spending time repeating myself, and I'm you know spending that time instead uh, interacting with students or making the curriculum better. I don't leave anybody behind, you know. So in our class, there's generally a pretty wide set of backgrounds that students are coming from. You know, I have some students who've already taken a CAD class, and they're raring to go. And then I have some students who might just be returning to school after a long time, and they might not know how to copy files. So that's a pretty broad spectrum of people in a CAD class, and it's nice that because of this tool, I'm able to focus on helping uh, the people who need help getting caught up. So when I was looking into blended learning, I saw the, uh, you know, the research that said that students in blended courses were doing better, and I, there's a few reasons for that. The big one is pacing. So having students being able to go at their own speed utilizes their time really well. Uh, it allows people to rewind and take a look at details. It allows students who are already familiar with it to kind of skip forward. And in fact, I've actually had some of my students download the videos, uh, watch them at fast forward, like at 1.2 times speed. So that pacing allows students to be using their time more effectively. And then finally, after the class, you know, since all of the lectures are video-based and we have this, this search ability, you know, students can go back, they can type in a keyword, and they can access every moment in the class for the entire quarter. Like, that's pretty amazing, you know, to have a search feature on your university course and access any moment and all. There's a variety of reactions. We've actually been doing surveys on this. In the first quarter, we were like, is this worth doing? Is this not worth doing? And I think the attitude towards video-based instruction is really changing. And we have a really positive response in our class. So the first quarter we did this, we, we had uh, 45 students, and we did the survey. 42 of them were excited about the video lectures. Uh, they really like being able to control their own pace and access it at that speed. You know, it's still important to have the traditional class time where you interact with the students and you create those opportunities for spontaneous discussion. So it's important to have that, you know, that face-to-face -face time and those chances for conversations that make a class more than just a, you know, a CD-ROM. My students who have, who have been through it, they do like the ability to control the pace of what they're learning and to be able to access it anywhere. But at the same time, being able to come into class and talk with people and interact is a pretty important part of that.